so again, one of the things we see as a primary use case for um, you know for these tablet devices or you know mobile internet devices, really the browsing side of things. So we want to be able to go in and you know load up web pages quickly. So that was MSN. If I go and get uh, CNN, it's actually kind of a challenging page. Mm -hmm. There's so many different elements on it, and it really you know starts to show off some of the capabilities of the Tegra processor. And I can still load these web pages up you know pretty quickly. You know interact with them. You know the scrolling's awesome. We accelerate that actually with our GPU. Right, so we take full advantage of all the processing cores that are available there. Um, and I think I have uh, another window open that has um, uh, HD, uh, an HD trailer. So let me just pull that one up, uh, YouTube. So I've got you know basically this downloaded. You can play you know content off of the web. Is this playing Send Flash or is this uh, so HTML5? This is, uh, this is Flash. So again, we're um, we're in the camp of believing that if you're going to do the internet well, there's 80% of the sites out there that have flash content, either video or animations. Right. You gotta you gotta render you it, gotta or it's not the internet. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> um, that's our story. We're sticking to it. <laughs> so, um, you know, in in some ways, we really love the fact that Apple's come out with the iPad and kind of set a. Um, um, you know, there's a lot of interest in the tablet category. We, we see a lot of things coming together that make it a very uh, viable uh, kind of new consumer electronics category. And, um, you know, so they're validating it. That's great. And they're also coming out with a product that I think has some, um, you know, uh, opportunities for our customers to come back with something that has, you know, dual processor, 1080p capabilities, you know, so full multitasking, you know, camera support, all these things that they'll be able to do some really, really nice uh, devices. And again, with our, you know, uh, flash support, again, full, full internet, um, uh, full internet content. And what kind of Android is this running? Is this a custom build for this type of device? Is it based on 2.0 or 2.1? So, yes, or? Yeah, so this is an Android Eclair build. And then we've, you know, basically been working with Adobe and Google to also get the flash, uh, flash acceleration in place. Cool. So it's it's kind of it is a it is going to be a future release and it's one of the things that you know working uh, getting the finishing touches on to uh, get the product ready for production. So this is a prototype. Do you have any ideas of what the final products are going to be like? They're going to be a, a range of devices at different sizes. Do you have any requirements in terms yeah. of hardware that you want partners to support? Okay, so we have actually in the other room a number of different devices that range in size, uh, you know, screen size, um, you know, for a handset obviously down to three inches and in, in some of the smaller tablets, five inch. We're seeing a lot of interest in like a seven inch and ten inch form factor. Um, with a seven inch, you know, you, you can do uh, something that's still you know, reasonably pocketable mm -hmm. um, and gives you, you know, that full web page size. You can have something that's a 1024 wide screen, which most web pages are, you know, Basically designed for at least that that, that wide. Um, with the higher, with the bigger screens, you can go even up to like 1366, 768 resolution. So now you've got you know something that if you're using it for a reader, you can really have a nice you know, uh, reading experience. If you're doing you know video playback, it's not just a, something you, you play for yourself, but you know clearly uh, you could you know, uh, be perfect in the in the back of the car to keep the kids you know, <laughs> going on those, on those long trips. Right? Yeah. Yeah, the the, uh, the virtual sitter, um, and obviously whether it's internet access or, or media playback, um, will do it. I think a terrific job of serving up that content. Cool. Um, you know, battery life is is an absolute critical part of what we do, and so with having the multiple cores and the Tegra processor, we just don't, we just use the ones that are relevant, right? So if I'm doing web browsing, like when I hit that CNN page, yeah, the CPUs you know, spool up and get all that Java work done real quick, but then after that it's, you know, um, most of the uh, content is going to be running on the GPU itself. The scrolling and stuff like that is GPU activity. The flash animations, that's GPU activity. Um, and, uh, and in fact, when we move it from the processor onto the GPU, we'll typically see an order of magnitude difference in power consumption. So, I mean, Steve Jobs is like, oh, you don't want flash on these things because it's going to you know, drive your battery into the ground. And the reality is that's if you leave it on the CPU. If you put it on the graphics processor, it offloads a lot of that. It gets it on the right processor for visual content, the GPU, and delivers a really, really good you know, full frame rate experience and you know small power budget. So, cool. I think it's going to be a good differentiator for us. Awesome.